Now you are in Egypt and for sure you will need to eat. Okay, so let me tell you some foods that gonna be found in the Egyptian market regardless it's a pure Egyptian food or not. This is not the issue right now. Now I'm trying to support you regarding the ideas that you may found here in Egypt so you can eat your daily, your daily needs. Okay, first we have the most common thing here in Egypt and it's an Egyptian food. We call it Ta-Meya. 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 Some places they call it Falafel as well. Falafel. Falafel. So we call it Ta-Meya or Falafel. Okay. Then we have the beans. We call it Fool. 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 It's widely, 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 widely found here in Egypt. Like, you know, I guess there is no an Egyptian citizen. He never eats Fool at least one time a day, okay? Fool, fool, okay? Uh, you know, can you see this thing? You may find the fool in this thing, which is, you know, it's really fun eating on, on this, you know? I don't know what, what do we call it in English, but you know, I really like eating it from this place. You know, you just stand on the street and start eating. You know, it's, it's fantastic. I know it's not that clean, but you know, it makes you feel, um, feel good, you know? Then we have batatas, which is potato, fries, okay? Batatas, 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 okay? Then we have the word mechallil, mechallil, no idea what do you call it in English, or no idea if it's fine, it's found out of Egypt or no, but actually it's just like some uh, vegetables that you put inside the water with salt, and after some time you start eating it as a side dish, next to your uh, next to your main dishes okay no idea what you call it in english but this is how we make it here in egypt then we have macarona which is spaghetti macarona macarona okay macarona then we have roz rice roz roz very simple say it again one more great well done roz okay then we have Salad, we call it salata. It's just, you know, it's quite close to the English. Salata. Salata. Say it. Salata. Come on, let's say it together, me and you. Salata. Salata. Great, well done. Okay. Then we have the grilled chicken, we call it ferech mashwiya. Ferech mashwiya. Ferech means a chicken, mashwiya means grilled. So, ferech mashwiya. Okay. For example, another example, the, the grilled fish, samak mashwi, samak mashwi, samak mashwi. In, in, in frakh we said mashwiya, and in samak we said mashwi. You know, I don't want to go deep regarding this point, but, uh, but it have, it have, you know, an explanation, but it's not time to go that deep because it's going to get confused, okay? But when you're talking about chicken, you're going to say mashwiya. And when you're gonna talk, be, when you're gonna be talking about the fish, we say mashwi. Okay. Then we have the fried uh, fish. We call it samak ma'li. Samak ma'li. Samak ma'li. Again, again. Samak ma'li. Samak ma'li. Then we have the one of the most powerful Egyptian food, which is called mahshi. Mahshi. Mahshi, it's an idea more than it's a food, okay? It's an idea of putting rice inside anything. Putting rice inside anything. You can put it inside the grapes paper. You can put it inside a tomato. You can put it inside potato. It's the idea of putting rice inside a vegetable and you just cook it. This is called mahshi. As I told you, mahshi, it's an idea more than it's a dish. Mahshi, say it. Okay, then we have uh, something which is widely used, uh, widely found here in Egypt as well, the shak shuka. Shak shuka. You know, it sounds funny. Yeah, I know. Shak shuka. Shak shuka. Okay, shak shuka actually it's kind of tomato and uh, salt with papers and eggs and just mix them all together on fire and now you're ready to eat that shak shuka. Kawera. Kawera. Uh, well, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but it's a part of the cow's bones that are cooked. So it comes as kawara. 
the sclera, okay, parts of the calf's bones that we cook, then it was sclera, okay. Then we have kebab, 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 and kofta, kebab and kofta. Both are parts of meat, parts of meat that are grilled on the grill, okay, kebab or kofta, kebab or kofta, okay, kebab, say it, great, and Kofta. Well done. Then we have the shrimp. We call it gambari. 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 Okay. Gambari. Then we have something called hawaushi. 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 Actually, it's a bread that has meat inside it. Okay. It's a bread that has meat inside it. So this is called hawaushi. 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 Okay. Then we have the futir, futir, you know, it's kind of like something like pizza, okay, but it's it's made with the, with the Egyptian way. And also, by the way, this is called futir, and by the way, we still have pizza here in the Egyptian market, don't worry, you gotta find pizza, don't worry, okay. Then we have one of the most famous meals here in Egypt, the kushari, kushari. Kushari, it's made of rice and spaghetti and some stuff all above each other and onions and, uh, you know, a sauce and just eat it. You know, it's, it's one of the most common dishes here you can find here in Egypt. Uh, let, me, let me highlight you something. If you're not happy with all of these, by the way, here in Egypt we have McDonald's, we have Kentucky, we have Fridays, we have, you know, all the brands are found here in Egypt. So don't worry, if you are not happy with the Egyptian food, you gotta find your normal food that you just ate in your, uh, in your country before you coming to Egypt. So don't panic regarding the food that much, okay? Uh, come on, let's go to the next part.